Hello beautiful singers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia and I am a holistic vocal coach, which means I help people not only transforming their voices, but their lives as well. And I'm also a classical crossover professional singer. And I'm here to talk about a very important topic called tongue tension. Can you feel the cringe? Can you feel it? I definitely felt it for many years and it took me so long to get out of this habit. It's almost an addiction. And I know some of you, if not all of you, are suffering a little bit of tongue tension. And I'm gonna, first of all, explain to you why we even have it. And also ways to get rid of it in a much easier way. So guys, stay tuned. And before we're gonna jump into the video, did you like, did you subscribe to be part of our growing family? So if you love singing and you wanna learn how to be the best singer you can, this is the place for you. So go ahead and be part of our family and let's start. So the most important thing when we talk about tongue tension, so to understand why we even using our tongue as a supporter and ends tensing it, it's actually, this is not really the problem. The problem is we're not really supporting our voice with our breath support. There's no way around it. And I'm telling you, when people tell me, uh, I don't wanna go and you know do breathing exercises and doing this and that, they don't understand that this is the core for everything. This is the foundation to your to your voice, to everything, and to avoid all those problems, all those complications, all this time wasted. It's really about really building a solid foundation of understanding what it means to support your voice in a healthy and correct way. And there's no way around it, and it takes time, but this is how you do it. You have to understand that your body, your breath, your air, this is the foundation for your voice. And the more you feel flexible with it, and the more you understand how it works, and the more you know how to isolate it, so you can play around with it and be flexible at the same time of being also very sturdy with this, this is gonna be the most important thing for your vocal career and singing. And let me tell you, this is everything. And every time I kind of skip that in my training or skip that when I warm up, I always come back to it. So remember, we can do all those exercises. I'm gonna show you all the three tips and exercises, but the most important thing you need to understand is how important to support your voice. So if you wanna hear uh, more about it, I'm gonna leave the links in the bottom, uh, in the description bar below. I did two uh, videos about breast support, but also if you want me to do an updated one, let me know in the comments below. But the first thing you can do whenever you sing is actually taking your tongue out. Take it out of the equation, okay? Literally, hopefully your hands are clean and you should be, you know, washing your hands 20 seconds. You know, the coronavirus uh, um, new rules, right? So taking your hands, really physically taking the tongue out and the, while you're singing, really make sure that you're relying on your breath support because if you are just taking the tongue out and singing you're gonna feel it's the, the strain is gonna go somewhere else either in the jaw or in your neck on your shoulders or wherever may be so make sure that you really first exercise your breath support exercises you isolate it you really connect it to your breath and your body more and then you're gonna take your tongue out to really even enhance and even trust more of your body and your breath. This is tip number one. Second tip that I like to do with myself and my students is taking my thumb and placing it right under my chin and you will feel there's a muscle there. Do it with me, you're gonna feel it. Um, right now it's probably if you're not speaking, you're not gonna feel it, but just try to speak with me and let's count to two together. One, two, right do you feel it so this is a muscle obviously connected to our tongue which by the way it's a huge muscle i'll show you right there so you can really see how big it is it's not this little thing that you think it's connected all the way to your larynx and the larynx is the home of your vocal folds so whenever you're straining your tongue you're straining your vocal folds as well and our job as singers and learning good healthy vocal technique it's actually 
going and stepping away from what your vocal folds know how to do, which is vibrating freely. Just let it happen freely and naturally. Now, easy said than done, but this is the way to do it, okay? So by placing your thumb under your chin, this muscle has to be soft all the time. So whenever you feel you kind of pushing the tongue down and you feel it's really, really rigid and uh, stiff, you know you're not doing the right thing. It always needs to be super, super soft, okay? Literally like an oyster. Just think like an oyster. It helps. <laughs> The third tip is not Chinese food, um, although I love it. Um, it's just taking a chopstick or a pencil or whatever you want to use that is light and placing it under your tongue. Literally creating this beautiful curve like that. And try the thing like this. It's really annoying. For me, sometimes make me gag a little bit. Honestly, it just makes me feel like I'm about to vomit. But just doing this for a couple of minutes really, really helps you to understand how much you're using your tongue. And your tongue kind of slowly understands that it doesn't, it, you, she's not really needed in the process of singing. And she's just gonna hang out in there. And if you wanna learn how to position your tongue, make sure to watch my next tutorial because I'm going to talk everything about tongue positioning. So guys, I hope I helped you. If you learned something, please, please, please like and subscribe and be part of our growing family. And if you want to become better singers, this is the time to be part of my free seven days vocal challenge. All you got to do is click the first link in the description bar below and it's going to direct you to my website. You can insert your name and your email and that's it. That's all you got to do guys. It's super easy. So with that, I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.